copied words like focus question. What was the main problem in the story and how was the problem solved? Andriana soon stopped thinking about her birthday party. Can I have a backyard party? Adriana said, asked, I want to make a great giant obstacle course of my, for my friends. Ten is a big year. That would be a great way to celebrate, Mom agreed. Let's see if Grandma and Grandpa can come for a visit, Dad suggested. For the next few weeks, Adriana was in party planning mode. She and her older sister, Cor Corina, Corina, planned the obstacle course. Adriana dreamed about a cake from his favorite bakery. About a week before her birthday, Adriana walked up to her parents. Were with boys. Voices. Is everything okay? asked Adriana. Coronavirus is in our own town. Corina mumbled, her mouth full of cereal. It made Adriana nervous that people in her town was getting COVID-19, the sickness caused by coronavirus. Social dis distancing is important, said Dad. That means staying away from others. It will help stop the spread of the virus. Mom nodded. It's just not safe for groups of people to get together right now, she said. A sinking feeling spread to Adriana's stomach. My parties, she called. I'm sorry, Adriana. We'll have your party up once it's safe for people to get together again, Mom said. The next day, Adriana started using the computer to do schoolwork from school. Mom started working from home too. Dad still had to go to work. He was a nurse. Many restaurants and stores in town shut their doors. Everyone was staying home. Adriana wasn't allowed to visit any of her friends. More cases of COVID-19 were being reported each day. Grandpa and grand grandma and grandpa called to say they didn't think it was safe for them to travel. Adriana kept busy. Adriana kept busy by doing her schoolwork on the computer. She still went on bicycle rides with her family. They wore masks on the rides. Wearing masks helped stop the spread of the sickness. Not no one had talked about her birthday in a while. Did they even remember? Adriana wondered. On Adriana's birthday, mom and mom, dad, and Corina burst into her room. Happy birthday! They yelled. Mom placed a homemade glittery plate paper crown on Adriana's head. Corina played a happy birthday song on her kazoo while mom and dad sang. How about a special birthday breakfast? Chocolate chip pancakes? Asked dad. After after breakfast, Mom placed at her phone. We'll have to open presents later. It's time for the big surprise, she giggled. What big surprise? Adriana asked. Adriana followed her family out the front door. They had hung a bright banner and tied balloons to the torch, porch and bushes. On the lawn, Mom's rocking chair was wrapped in a purple sheet and decorated with pink bows. It's the birthday throne, announced Corina. Adriana sat down and suddenly felt very special. Beep, beep, loud honks and Adriana on the edge of her set. A long row of cars moved slowly down the street. Happy birthday signs hung on the cars. Her friend's happy face smiled through the car windows. Dance music played loudly. It was a totally awesome birthday parade. The row of cars moved around the plaque several times. Except for Grandma and Grandpa, everyone was there, even her teacher. After the parade was over, Mom suggested they all go inside her cake for cake. It's chocolate! Adriana exclaimed when Daddy carried the homemade cake to the table. <clears throat> there is one more surprise before you blow out the candles, said Mom. She brought her tablet to the table. Soon, Grandma and Grandpa's faces were on the screens. screen. Adriana blew out the candles as everyone sang. Adriana felt his head turned out to be one of her best birthdays yet.